Hey everybody, Kevin Kraft here, Master Club Fitter for Second Swing, Columbia, Maryland. We're on lockdown, so we're just trying to provide some kind of entertainment for y'all. Uh, started the kind of the what's in the bag. Um, first segment was my wedges. Um, now I'm going to move into the irons portion of this. Uh, the irons kind of came about the same way everything else comes about uh, because I do try everything that comes in. Um, you know, I want to get a good feel for what things are so I can talk intelligently about them, how they, how they feel. And obviously my experience is different from everybody else's experience. Everybody's going to have their own kind of thing. Um, but demos of the uh, Cobra Forge text came in this year and I put a couple things together. Feels really good. I like the sound. It sounds, just a little bit of click to it, but it's not too clicky. It just kind of sounds fast, you know. I like that that fast sound. Um, consistency was really good. Uh, the feel was great. Uh, numbers were looking good. So, um, I, once I decided I was going to go ahead and, and go with this particular head, um, I started messing around with shafts a lot. Um, I have shift, shifted this year to graphite. Uh, I'm in an Aerotech Steel Fiber 110 X Flex. Um, I got a little bit of arthritis kicking in in my hand, so if I come in in the mornings and I hit a few balls before work, it's really painful. So I'm trying to take as much of that out of there as possible. Uh, don't get old, people. It's 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 not for the faint of heart. Um, but the, the steel fibers are giving me a little bit more vibration dampening, and I've gone to a little bit bigger grips to make that you know, the impact on the hands not quite as bad. Um, so went through some different shafts and ended up in the Aerotech steel fibers. This is my first time with graphite in the irons and I really, really quite like it. Uh, the way this shaft loads and unloads, you know, it's just very, very comfortable. And that's what I want to have my customers experience. I want them to have that sense of, okay, so if they can feel it, right? Some people don't really have a great control over, over what they're feeling. They're not really, sh they're not adjusted to, to feeling those differences. But for those that do, right, uh, I wanna make sure that we find something that's gonna feel really, really good. Uh, you know where the club head is. You know, you're not losing it up here somewhere. And as it comes down into impact, you know, everything feels like it's flowing properly and, uh, and making that impact as solid as possible. Um, you know, obviously we can always go off of numbers. Numbers are great because they don't lie. You know, they're going to tell us uh, one full part of the story. I just, you know, for everybody, if possible, I want this side of the story and this side of the story to, to match up, right? So it's great when somebody says, you know, I really like the way this club feels with this shaft in it. And then we look at the numbers and we find out that, hey, those also produce the, the best numbers. Uh, that's, that's what we're really hoping for anyway. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes we get... Uh, people that choose a shaft that just simply feels better, even if the numbers aren't quite as good. Um, you know, I'm only going to interject when somebody's making a really bad decision, right? Um, you know, usually by this point, we've gotten it down to where, you know, we're going to try a couple things and they're going to be pretty similar. Um, you know, if one thing feels better, you know, I'll tell you what, that's, that's it's definitely worth going that route because you want to have something that when you look down at it, it inspires confidence you know you make a good swing you know what it's going to feel like when you hit it and you know what it's going to sound like and you know what those performance numbers are going to be like we want as much consistency as possible so for me i've been very impressed with the consistency that i've been seeing off of this head this is a player's distance iron uh, 49 years old, I'm not getting any faster, so I'm gonna take a little bit of distance when I can get it. Uh, these are a fast face, so the ball jumps off really, really well. Um, and so, you know, one of the biggest questions I get with the player's distance category is, are we gonna have consistency? Are we gonna have hot spots? I've got seven rounds under my belt with these. Uh, I haven't had any issues on the golf course. Um, I do hit balls. I come in and practice in here, and I'm always cognizant of what that dispersion looks like. You know, is it is it staying tight? Or am I seeing anything that's jumping? And I really haven't seen that. Um, I played P790s a couple years ago. I didn't see any problems with them either. I've heard some stories here or there, but um, 
so far my experience has been very positive. Um, so my iron set starts at a five and goes to the pitching wedge. Um, I'm in a kind of a constant battle with that four iron. We'll talk about that in the next segment. Um, I swing from the inside, so, and I compress quite a bit in the golf swing. Think about maybe, probably my swing most likely represent is, uh, resembles Lee Westwood maybe. He kind of crouches down as he's swinging in. Uh, subsequently, I'm about two degrees flat, and I'm also half inch short in length, uh, and that really gets me into the center of the, center of the club face. Uh, I play a standard length golf club, and I just have a, I either have to go flatter still, which gets a little bit harder on some of these hosels. They don't like to bend as much as I would need to make them bend. Um, I hit shots coming off the heel. I don't like that because I don't like seeing the ball go left. So everything here is geared to try to not go left. A couple degrees flat, X flex, bigger grips, half inch short. I want as much control as I can get. And I, want, I want to see that ball turning as little as possible. Um, I even have some lead tape on the toe, uh, well, across the back to the toe. Uh, anything, again, just to try and make it, uh, just make it not turn as much. Um, and it's all about control. It's all about control. So that's where I'm at with the irons for 2020. Um, I've been very pleased so far. Just really hoping to get out and play some more golf.